We captured some moments behind the scenes with iconic actor and musician Dorian Harewood, who did the narration for Down the Roads. What was really cool about Dorian was that he is also a Rhodes player. And that's the way I'll work, Ben. If I screw up in the middle, I'll just stop, give you room to, to punch it. Yeah, okay. Cool. The story begins in World War II with Harold Rhodes in the U.S. Air Force. As a piano teacher and musician by trade, Harold's passion was music and education. Did I pop on the P there? Uh, it actually sounded okay. Okay. The Rhodes piano mechanism is essentially a tuning fork, where one of the legs is actually a piano wire. The fork is struck by a hammer, much like an acoustic piano. Then an electric pickup sends the sound to an amplifier to be heard, much like an electric guitar. With this electric piano released to the public, many artists began experimenting with the new sound. With this electric piano released to the with this electric piano released to the public, many artists began experimenting with the new sound. And by the way, sometimes I'll do stuff because I've, I just want to try a different feel oh, to it. Yeah. You choose whichever you want. Yeah. Yeah. It might oh, be something yeah. that you guys like. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? One of the very first bands to popularize the sound of the roads was The Doors. Burp break. That was great. That feel okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, the way cool. you said that line. Okay, so I don't need to give you another. Oh no, cool. <coughs> was the doors? Was the doors? One of the very first bands to the sound of the roads was the doors. <laughs> that might be better. The explosion of Miles' electric sound with recordings like "In a Silent Way" and "Bitches Brew" launched the sound of the roads into the public atmosphere. Most notably. This seed planted by Miles would carry on through his keyboard players as they left the Davis band and formed their own ensembles. Now I edited and in there because I assume. Should be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Editing on the fly there. That's right. As the popularity of synthesizers began to grow, Fender developed the Rhodes Mark III EK10 to compete with the synth market. The concept was to combine a synthesizer like sound with the classic Rhodes piano. Is that close? Yes. Go ahead. Yeah, okay. Good. As the synth age ran its course, a new generation of musicians discovered music of the past, which many grew up listening to. The rich quality of the Rhodes sound that was used throughout the 70s influenced a number of up-and-coming artists to create music in a similar style. The result was a movement, a return to the Fender Rhodes. To the fender road. Does that feel okay? Yeah, that was great. Okay, was I'll try it again. But if we got it, at least that feels to good. Me, yeah, I'll try to. It. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. You got that.